Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Waste or Worth It Wednesday. It's been a hot minute since I filmed this video or these types of videos. I know that I've been slacking on them and I know that you guys really enjoy these. So if you ever have a suggestion for me to do a certain video for this um, Waste or Worth It Wednesday series, please let me know because honestly I run out of ideas and I always want to make sure that I'm going to provide nothing but quality videos that you guys want to see because this channel is about you. So with that said, today's gonna be a more chillaxing day. As you can see, I got my little hoodie on and it says I have nothing to wear. So yeah, today I'm actually going to be talking about some new products that I've been seeing in the drugstore. And I know that there's tons of new products um, that are releasing. Unfortunately, Utah, it's like, I don't know, we're so behind all the time. So I constantly have to be, you know, like searching for these products, but I did find some new ones and I just want to share my opinion with you guys about these products. So I recently saw that Garnier um, launched a micellar cleansing water. The second item is a foundation and I've seen quite a few reviews on this. It's the new L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Buildable Luminous Foundation. I picked up the color N4 and then I recently saw as well the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, that's all it sits, but it's actually a makeup setting spray. You guys saw that I used this in my last video. And the last two things that I wanted to talk about are, or wanted to show you, are the new Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. I got this one in 90 Honey Beige, and then it also came, well, it didn't come with a beauty blender, but I saw these together, so I wanted to pick up the beauty blender. I put it back in the packaging, and I washed it so it can look like you know pretty in camera so now we're gonna jump right into the review and I will let you know which of these new products are totally worth it or which ones are a waste of your money starting with the Garnier micellar cleansing water since this is the first one that I showed you as you can see now I don't know if you can see it because it's all bubbly but I've used quite a bit of it I've had it for about five or six days so let me tell you that this stuff is amazing. Ever since I started using it, I was just blown out of the waters with this. This stuff is really good at removing makeup. What I like to do is I like to take a little cotton pad and I like to pretty much soak my little cotton pad with this. And then I will take off all my makeup first, like my foundation, blush, etc. And then I'll go in with a second one and what I like to do, especially when I'm wearing or these days that I've actually been wearing glitter, I'll take a second one, again soak it, I press it on my eye and I leave it there for about 5 seconds and then I start gently just moving it around. It removes everything. And what I liked about this is that it has no oil, no alcohol and it's fragrance free. So it's not something that is going to ir irritate your skin. It hasn't irritated my skin and I have pretty sensitive skin. So I really, 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 really recommend this. I think it's totally worth it. Now the L'Oreal True Match Cushion Lumi. I don't like these types of applicators so I really didn't use this at all but I do like to use it with a um, round foundation brush or a flat brush and it really works. It picks up so much products honestly if I dip it in once like completely if I just go in all the way it covers my whole face. Now this is not ideal for us oily girls. This is definitely targeted more towards um, dry skin. Now, with that said, as of lately, as I actually the past month and a half, maybe even two months, my skin has been really dry. I still have some dry patches here and around my nose, and I really like how this foundation leaves my skin super dewy. This is the one that I'm wearing on my skin right now, and I don't know if you guys can see, I mean, I am wearing some highlights, but overall, I feel like my skin looks really glowing, it looks, it looks luminous, it looks really healthy, and it looks really soft. So I definitely love this foundation. The price point on this is very high. This was actually around $16 at my local Walgreens, which is almost 
as much as a like Sephora foundation. So it's definitely pricey. I don't know if it's the fact that it's a cushion foundation that it makes it pricier or if it's Walgreens that just ups their prices. But I, <laughs> I was like, this is a Zola, it's not. So I was definitely like, oh, I don't know if I want to try this, but I mean the packaging. Really? And then the third thing is this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. This was actually pretty cheap. It was about four or five bucks, which is not bad. I actually really like the way the nozzle is because it's not like a big old spray where it's just, it spritzes on your face and then you have all these little dots. It has a really nice spray. Let me see. So it sprays really nicely and it sprays evenly on your skin. Now, the scent, it's something that I'm still trying to get used to it. It has a very strange, like, glue, like an Elmer's glue scent. So I don't like the scent. However, I really do like the setting spray. I mean, I it's nothing comparable to, like, Urban Decay or anything like that. But I did feel that when I wore this, um, first of all, it took all the powdery away from my face when I overpowdered my face. So I really like that it helped with that. Um, I do feel like my makeup stayed on a little bit longer. Like I said, I don't feel like it makes my makeup stay all day long. But I do feel like it helps just keep my makeup in place. Now the last products are the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. Now with this, I almost didn't want to mention this because I haven't had... I have tried this out. The color 90 Honey Beige. It's way too dark for my skin tone. Like way, way, way. It's almost like two or three shades darker. So I have to go and return it and exchange it for a different color. I have mixed it with another foundation that I have that is like super light for me. So I have mixed it with that one and it's kind of hard to say. I really like the combination of the foundations that I've been mixing because I feel like this is very velvety. It's almost like a gel consistency and then when you apply it to your face it goes like a like a powder, like a matte powder. I don't know how to explain it. Um, this is supposed to be a hydrating foundation, but it's supposed to be matte as well. So I was definitely intrigued by that. Now, as you can see, the size is very small compared to the other Maybelline foundations. And I believe this was around $9. So it's definitely on the pricier side. But I think it's the fact that it's a gel whipped foundation that just made it on the pricier side. So I'm still going to do a separate video talking just about this. Now, really quickly, I want to mention the, what do they call it? They call it the Dream Blender. So this is what it looks like. It's a really small wannabe beauty blender and it comes in this white tip. Now on the back of the packaging, it does suggest for you to wet this a little bit and then apply your foundation. I did wet this when I applied my concealer today and I didn't feel much of a difference. I think it's really nice and it's a cute innovative idea for your um, concealer. I think I'll definitely be using it for that just for applying my concealer as you can see. I really use it. I really like it for that. Now as far as the foundation, not a big fan and obviously you can tell why it's really small. I mean, maybe it's because I have a big old cara, but Imagine like taking your time blending this in and just that ain't nobody got time for that So I do think it's just a tad bit small for the purpose of using it all over your face I mean if you have time all power to you, but my mind got no time um, It's not as bouncy as the original beauty blender. It's kind of stiff. I don't know if you guys can hear this but yeah, it's not very it's not very soft. It's not very bouncy. It doesn't have like the little ojitos that the Beauty Blender has. So it's not going to be anywhere near as good as the Beauty Blender. That for me is like my holy grail. So those are all the products that I have recently been trying out and that I've been seeing on the drugstore markets. I I know that there's tons of new products coming out. So I hope that I can find them nearby and I will definitely do another Waste or Worth It Wednesday video on these or those. So that is everything for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!